What is going on everybody? Today we're looking at our Super 7 Thundercats Ultimates. A part of Wave 7, we have Snarf and Retaru. So it's been a while since we've looked at any of the Thundercats. And of course, just try and get more characters. We want like main characters. So Snarf is definitely one of the main Thundercats. So we had to get him. And then Retaru just to go with the rest of our mutants. Since he's kind of like the captain of the mutants. So we wanted to have him since we have all the other mutants. So two cool characters here. Of course, love Snarf. Always one of the most memorable things from Thundercats. Looks pretty fun. Of course, a small figure if you see the difference in like sizes get a big character and a little small character but at least the snarf comes with a lot of different accessories to help kind of sort of build them out and then Retaro looks awesome as just a big like humanoid rat guy looks pretty cool with his outfit and comes with his signature weapon so that looks pretty cool as well and just so you can see on the back of the box of course pictures of the characters and some of their stories so there we have it for snarf and then here we have it for Retaro so if you wanted to read either of those you can just pause it and read and learn more about the characters but both look really awesome and I'm excited to check these out so let me get them out of the box and we'll take a look at them together. So let's start off with Snarf, who is a male Snarf named Osper. That was a protector and nurse maid for young Lino. But as Lino grew up, he didn't need his protector, but Snarf remained loyal to him. Although he's not a fighter and most of the time is scared, he has saved the lives of the Thundercats on many occasions. So it's cool to finally get Snarf to add in with our Thundercats. I was surprised that they even made him. I didn't know if they would or not, or maybe if they would make him like an additional character along with someone else. But they decided just to release him on his own here which is cool of course like I said he is a much smaller character so they threw in some additional stuff I guess try to fill out more of that pricing but overall looks pretty cool here of course they do have him how he came out of the box where he's up on his tail on this little stand so he's up in the air more so a little bit higher there but overall looks pretty fun and cute so he's got mostly this all red fur with the yellow stripes so he's got yellow like up here in the front that goes down all the way back to the tail and then has some yellow like on his arms as well as his legs then he has this cute little face with like some yellowish sort of color it's got like a little bit of yellow tint more of like a cream color or something around his face here with all this extra fur a little red nose his big eyes there that look all nice and cute and big ears as well and then some of this orange color like segmentation going down his midsection and down the tail till we get the little tiny hands and feet which as someone that had hamsters when I was younger these hands remind me a lot of like hamster hands or probably like little mouse or hands or whatever just just cute little things with the little tiny nails on them stuff remind me of that a lot but it's cool just to get snarf in figure form finally but we can do his movement so his head will twist all the way around he looked down that far and up that far so a little bit of movements back and forth not bad we go to the shoulders that do come up to 90 pretty much and can rotate around then we get these single elbow joints which well, of course we're not gonna get a lot of movements with any of these but can flex back and forth there a little and have rotation in it and then the wrist will also twist around and flex back and forth then we don't have any ab crunch or anything going on here but then we go down to the thighs that can move back and forth so they just sort of rock back and forth and don't really do any in or out and it's hard to really tell what's going on joint wise in there then we get the knee joint that can bend back and forth so much like that but just a little bit back and forth so you pretty much straighten it out and then bend back a little there with rotation and then we get the foot that'll flex back and forth and twist side to side and then if we go back we do have the tail here which does twist around and then has the joint so it can flex back and forth there. And then it does have the separation where we can switch out the tail and it just sort of twists around there in that part. So overall he looks cool, not a whole lot to it movement wise so we're not gonna get too much which it is a Super 7 and they don't have much movements anyways. That's one thing I've always complained about especially the Thunder Cats that I wish they had better range of movements. But so for Snarf you don't really have to have too much thankfully so it kind of works out a little bit better for him. Now accessory wise we get a lot of different stuff to switch out. We get some additional heads so first we have a head that's kind of got this little smile so it looks pretty fun and cute there and then we have one maybe where he's attacking so he's more angry got an angry face with his mouth open there so you can switch out either of those now switching out the heads is pretty difficult I don't know if it's the material like sort of this material that goes around in here that's real stiff so getting the head switched out is really difficult so you definitely need to heat those up and I don't have any way to heat it currently so I can't switch them out but you can pick either of the heads there I just probably just use the normal stoic face that he's got already then we get some additional hands so first we get some little open hands here with like the thumbs I guess being worn out so not too much different from what he's got already so just those little hands and then he also has a set of grip hands so if you want to give him stuff to hold some of his accessories you do get little grip hands there as well that we can switch out 
and I mentioned as he is here, he's up on his tail, so we have that tail design, but we can switch the tail out, so you just gotta pull it apart at the midsection. And he comes with this additional tail piece, so you can give him more of just the normal tail, so he can stand on his own feet. So let's plug this in. And it's also not the easiest to get that switched in and out, but now we have his tail, so you can of course get him there, and he can now stand on his own. So there we have little Snarf now just standing on his own with his tail back there. And as I said with this, it does have some movement, so you can rotate it around and everything wherever you want it to place there. And then for some additional accessories, first we get a bag. So I don't remember what this bag is for. He just has this bag off, so you can just take it and put it around him. I don't know how he get it on, I guess, though, around his head. So there, Snarf has that satchel on there. So he has that, those store and carry stuff around it. again, probably from a certain episode, like a specific time when he used that. So he's got that bag on there. And then he also comes with an additional version of, we got the shield claw, so we just have this. Not really doing anything, it's just a thing he can obviously, I guess, drag around. I don't know how he'd hold on to it, it's just an additional thing. And it also comes with the Sword of Omens all collapsed down, and you can obviously store this down inside the shield as well, just like that. So again, another item, maybe you can switch out his hands for a grip hand and just put it in his hand and he could be dragging it around or something. But that's just, again, an additional thing they gave to him. And then finally, we have a candy fruit, which is one of the fruits from the show that Snarf loves a lot. So just this little thing looks almost like a watermelon design, but with pink and red. So just this as well that we could put into one of those grip hands if we want, so he can be eating that. So just fun little accessories to go along with Snarf. But now that we have Snarf, we can add him to the rest of our Thundercats. So there's the rest of our main Thundercats with Snarf there. Now added to him, of course, he's small little tiny creature. So maybe having him up on his tail thing would be better. So he's up in the air closer to the characters. But we got little Snarf there added to the collection, which is pretty cool. Of course, now we're just waiting on Wily Kitten Cat that have already been announced. So once we get those, we'll pretty much finish out our whole main Thundercats team, which is awesome. So really cool to be able to add Snarf to the team now. And then we've also got Ratara, which is the captain of the Rat Star spaceship and commander of the evil mutants. So he looks pretty decent overall here. So I like how he is a rat, so Ratara. So he has a rat head, which is pretty cool with a nice like little mustache design sort of hanging off there. Of course, his big buck teeth and then some extra teeth there at the back, which is crazy ears in the back here. And then, of course, his rat eyes. He has a little helmet on his head with like a gold crown piece. So that's pretty cool with the red jewel in the center. So just that helmet design on him there. And then we have his outfit, which is this blue covering on the outside so a blue with a sash up with little shoulder guards some gold around his neck and arms there and gold that I guess would be like the belt section hanging down with the skirting and at the bottom of the skirt there and then he has a red shirt underneath with some red sleeves coming down until we get the guards there on his arms all the way to his hands so he's got his little rat hands there and then you can see some of his furry legs going down to the shin guard so he's got gold and blue shin guards all the way down to his feet so his rat feet there with the long toenails that look pretty crazy and then back to the back we do have his rat tail as well so to going around there of course it's not like as segmented or whatever like rat tails are but looks pretty decent overall just the way he is there now moon wise we get the head that'll twist around so it can twist all the way around and then can look down pretty much where it's at and then up a little bit there so a little bit back and forth so not a lot the shoulders do come up to 90 and can rotate around we get a bicep twist and the single elbow joint that bends pretty much to 90 with the rotation in it and then we get the wrist that'll twist all the way around and hinge back and forth as well then we get the twist around at the waist so we just sort of twist all the way around there and then the hips will come up a little bit probably because the screen can't get too much but about that far and out to the side there is a thigh twist in there then we get this single knee joint that does bend back with some rotation in it and then we get the foot that'll flex back and forth and twist side to side and then if we go to the back his tail does have some movement so it can move in and out a little bit and twist around so like most of the other thundercats you know it doesn't have a whole lot of range movements but i think he looks really nice like design wise and details you know looks exactly how he does of the cartoon and really nice details overall on him now accessory wise he does come with an additional head so more of an angry head which i think would be probably cool since he's an evil mutant have an angry head so let's see if i can switch this out so there i got the angry head switched out on him and then he comes with some additional hands so we get a hand that's got a pointing finger and then one that's just got a more open hand there so you can choose either one of those if maybe you want to have him pointing yelling at something but he's just got the normal grip hands on there which we can use to give him his rat's eye dagger so he's got these two daggers with the holes in it with the rat's eyes i guess they're on like crisp blades so the little wavy blades there so let's put these in his hand so there he's got his two daggers and with those we get some effects so we get these energy effects that will shoot out of the eyes so we have these nice like spiky things so with these the eyes 
pieces on this section do have holes in them so you can just take this and sort of plug them in so they can be shooting those blasts out like that at the Thundercats which I guess is kind of cool so you have those options or we get some flame effects that we can put onto the blades so we have these flames so let's try and put them on so there I tried to get the flames on some I can't really get this one to stay on but I got it on this one now unfortunately though putting it on has caused some issues where it's starting to make some of the paint come off so you just got to be careful with that so unfortunately probably won't be using those because it's peeling some of that paint off so we'll just have to leave it the way they are but it is cool that Rotaro does have his two blades there and ready now again like I said to fight against the Thundercats but since he is the captain of the mutants let's go and add all the mutants in with him so there's Rotaro now leading all the mutants where we have Slythe, Monkey, and Vulture Man, and Jackalman. So all of those look pretty cool there together with their captain now of Rotaro. So cool to now add him in with our mutants. Well, that's going to be it for the Super 7 Thundercats Ultimate Wave 7 figures of Snarf and Rotaro. So two pretty cool characters to add to our collection. So Snarf obviously need him. He's one of the main Thundercats. So got to have Snarf thrown in there. And then Rotaro just to add as the leader of the mutants. We wanted to get him to throw in there since we, as just showed you, have all the other mutants. So two cool characters to add and continue to build out some of our collection. So very cool to have both these figures that I really like. Just Super 7. So you have some issues with like some movements. Some like, you know, Snarf getting his head switch out is almost impossible without heating up the head you want to switch out and then the range of movements is always my biggest gripe with super sevens but the both of these work out just fine i don't really need a whole lot of movements for either one of them so for what they're for they work out just fine so let me know what you thought of these two down in the comments if you enjoyed this review let me know with a thumbs up one thank you all for watching i hope you all stay awesome out there and i'll see you in our next review